Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my good silver morning, Good morning, Big Square Road to Road.com. With your morning horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga Coffee. I posted um, two Jenny Moonstone discussions. One I put on um, YouTube, so go check that out, all you YouTube people. Called Dystopian Florida, Steering Storms, Atlantis, and Modern Day Spiritual Battles. Uh, it was kind of a in- lead up to what we were going to do with Silver, which I posted on the private road, road to Ruta, called All Silver Secrets Revealed and the Forgotten Silver You Can Buy for Cheap Today. So, yeah, if you want <laughs> if you want to know what the hell this is, uh, go to roadtoruta.com, hit subscribe today, and uh, go to the Jenny Moonstone section on the private road. All right. So, Silver, yesterday was a cutoff for COTs. Again, they haven't played this game in a long time i believe by tomorrow with the cpi print they have a plan either silver will get destroyed and they'll cover more of their uh short positions the riggers or it's the opposite i don't think there'll be anything in the middle um and if it gets destroyed it'll stay destroyed until next tuesday keep pushing it down try to get the uh, the new silver short position, 100 million ounces gone. That's this little blue tick right here, down here. Um, they did a lot of it. I think they did a lot of it this week up to Tuesday. And we'll find that out Friday with the COT report. My guess, right now they have like 19,000 contracts. My guess is they got rid of half of them. Um, so we might be looking for one more slam down just to get the criminals um, even. Even Steven. Um, remember everything is orchestrated as far as the CPI goes and silver manipulation. All these parts are circling around, but they're all orchestrated. It's really easy to do actually with computers and derivatives. It's so easy to do. And we all know the government decides what inflation will be. I think my take is that, uh, Jerome Powell still needs to keep uh, raising interest rates no matter what's happening to destroy the system. Ultimately, this is the plan to destroy the system. I think uh, CPI is going to go up, uh, even though gas went down and oil went down and um, natural gas went down, and those are large drivers. I think the uh, inflation rate is still going up. We obviously know that it's two to three times too low compared to what is really happening. Going to Starbucks, you pay three bucks for a cup of coffee. It's you know, yes, that inflation is kicking in. Um, here's what J.P. Morgan has to say. J.P. Morgan Goldman predict huge surge or plunge, depending on CPI print. That's exactly, basically, they, that's what they're going to do to gold. Since Goldman and J.P. Morgan are, are two of the main riggers of the price of silver, they, they, they're they basically laying out what they're going to do to silver, a huge surge or a plunge. Now, what they're talking about is uh, the CPI. Right now, it's at, um, what, uh, th- what is CPI right now? 8.3, I believe. Uh, yeah. And if, if it prints above 8.3, as in inflation is increasing, even though the gas prices went down, they're predicting a 5% drop in the, uh, markets. Um, if it beats that goes to 8.1, they're predicting a little bit of a drop. And then anything under eight is, is, you know, yay, happy days again, punch bowl type stuff. Um, again, this is all orchestrated. I think it's going to be above 8.3. And then um, we're already seeing massive jumps in gasoline prices for the month of October. October is going to be a monster inflation month. I think it gets over 9% in October. Um, But this is all orchestrated. So the idea is to to destroy the system the best you can. Um, Ultimately, the entire destruction of uh, the unbacked fiat monetary system I heard the uh, the UK is is the prime minister's fighting with the head of their central bank, and it's getting out in the open and it's ugly. Um, is it all a show? Probably, probably. Anyway, uh, let's talk inflation. PepsiCo's average products prices spike seventeen percent. Now they're telling us there's only eight percent inflation, except everything when you measure inflation, almost every single item in that inflation uh, list is over 8%. Oil, gas, you know, everything is way over 8%. So how do they come up with 8.3% inflation? They make it up. It's a rig job. 
And again, if they can rig 8.3, they can tell you tomorrow the inflation is 2.0, like they used to tell you. We know it's not, but they can do that. Now, why aren't they? Because they want to destroy the system. This is the end game. So yeah, Pepsi is doing okay because they rose their prices and really didn't lose much of uh, demand. Good for them. Food costs jump sparks hotter than expected. U.S. producer price inflation. Yes, of course, the PPI. Food is a huge deal. Um, I have a, a special food, uh, grow your own food uh, discussion I'm having on Monday. I will post it on uh, the YouTube channel uh, if, if I can keep it on there or it'll be on the private road or Patreon. I'm not sure where, depending how that discussion goes, um, but it's going to be real good. It's going to teach people or show people how to get fully understand how to grow your own food, how to make your own medicine, how to how to how to raise chickens and um, bunny rabbit little bunny rabbits. How to how to use them as food. <laughs> it's going to be a great conversation. Uh, Marjorie Wildcraft, really excited about that. So I will post that. I'll let you guys know next week. Uh, okay. U.S. firms pull staff from China's top chip maker as economic war worsens. The Biden administration's new technology restrictions are already causing disruptions in China and the U.S. semiconductor equipment suppliers are telling staff based on the country's top memory chip maker to leave, according to Wall Street Journal, citing sources familiar with the matter. So basically, Joe Biden is trying to destroy the chip manufacturing business, which chips go in everything now. Everything. Part of the plan to destroy the system. Um, for me, truthfully, would I vote Republican or Democrat in this coming election? I don't know. I mean, if you report Republican and they try to fix things, that just delays the inevitable. Um, it, it, I, I could never vote Democrat, but I vote American. I, I don't want any of these. I don't even think we're going to have an, a real full election. There's going to be problems left and right. You notice they haven't fixed those voting machines. Every year, both sides complain that the voting machines are rigged, the electronic voting machines are rigged, but every year, nobody does anything to change them. Uh, the U.S. Postal Service did patent a uh, blockchain-based voting protocol, voting protocol that would have worked right before the Trump-Biden election, but they chose not to. There's so many things going on behind the scenes. Um, I do not think we'll have another presidential election. I think uh, those days are gone. Um, the question is, will we have an election, midterm election on November 3rd? Um, the Democrats will never accept, will never accept it. Um, they might even lob in a nuclear war just for fun or maybe another storm coming through Florida. I don't know what the bad guys are trying to do. Uh, and the good guys, and, there's good guys and bad guys on the Republicans and on the Democrats. It's all a show behind the scenes. The real shit is going on. Uh, I talked about that with Ginny as well in the uh, silver discussion. Interesting this. A leak halts Russian oil flow to Germany. Officials say sabotage not suspected. Um, <laughs> yeah, another pipeline that gets shut off. Yeah, there's no sabotage. No way. No way uh, uh, Blinken and Biden and uh, Newland blew up another pipeline is there is there is there um the bold face lies coming out of washington are just ridiculous i'm embarrassed to be an american right now we did it of course we blew up Nord Stream. duh <laughs> we i don't know if it i think it was probably it probably the u.s military did it under the the direction of um yeah biden and and the people that run biden um, they are very, very, very much into uh, exerting their force in Europe. And if Germany finds this out or Russia finds proof, although there's, there's already proof, uh, I don't know. What do, what, do, what do you think, Mr. and Mrs. America? If you have a government starting what could be a nuclear war with Russia over blowing up their shit and not telling anybody about it, what would you do to those people who made that call? I mean, this is this is scary shit now, um, and you know if if the Republicans get in office, they're saying, "Oh yeah, we're going to press charges." Bullshit! You're not going to press charges on anybody. You had four years to do it, and nobody went to jail. Nobody, nothing stopped. 
You didn't stop the pedophiles. You didn't stop the market riggers. You didn't stop anything. So, no, if, if Republican gets in, it's, it's more of the same. But the Democrats would never let that happen. They would walk out and um, it'll be interesting to see if we even make it to November 3rd. I think by the end of this year, we're going to see some major chaos. Everybody's saying it. The question is what will cause it and you know what, what ultimately will be the result of the meltdown of two quadrillion dollars of derivatives. We will find out soon enough, I believe. Uh, here's an interesting one. FBI offered Christopher Steele $1 million to prove dossier's allegations. So our government, our FBI, that we fund, our tax money pays for them. They're offering up million dollar bribes to make up phony information, but try to prove it. We'll give you a million bucks if you can prove it. He couldn't prove it. For all you Democrats that are <clears throat> finally waking up to this thing, you look back at Trump and you're like, oh my God, all the stuff that Trump said was going on was actually going on. Yes, they did tap his phones. Yes, they did make up a dossier. Yes, they did all this stuff. <clears throat> the anti-Trumpers need to really take a good look at what happened and how Trump even functioned with the onslaught of the deep state, I have no idea, but they did. Does this mean anything? Well, hell, why did it take so long? You know, what's this, eight years? How long has it been since the, the, the Trump-Russia uh, collusion bullshit? Eight years? No, I'm more than that. Uh, let's see, it was, the Trump, it was before Trump administration. <laughs> they were trying to get it out on this stuff. Um, so five years? Five and a half years, six years. And we knew it on day one. I mean, this was obvious so long ago. Uh, and now it's finally getting revealed. Oh my God, what a revelation. Nobody gives a shit anymore, truthfully. We've all moved on. Anyway, I do expect to see hyperinflation kick in really fast. So make sure you get uh, the Road to Ruta coin. You can go to roadtoruta.com, hit subscribe today. And it also will give you this discussion all secret, all silver secrets revealed, and the forgotten silver you can buy for cheap today. Ooh, what could it be? Go check that out. It's Big Swear. I'll talk to you later.